So I was just starting to work in my November signature in my planner. And then I thought, I don't want to do this alone. <laughs> so I just turned on the camera now and I thought, why not post this as part of my uncut series? Even though I also considered making this video part of my Making Digitals Your Own series because I am working with my digitals today. But then I thought, well, actually, I want a very low-key, low-maintenance, very casual video. So welcome to another uncut video. I believe this is number five. You can find the full playlist linked below. So I'm working with my Woven Dreams kit for November. You can find all of those links below. And I have all of my ephemera cut out. If you've seen my plan with me November video, then you will know all of these digitals already. And I'm here in the middle of the month, in the week from November 13th to 19th. This is a page we've done together in my video where I showed the Taperlogy haul. And here I just added this pocket from my kit. And now I was thinking about what to put in here to add my to-dos to. And I took one of these cards, which is from the stack here from my ephemera pages. And I thought rather than just having it as a rectangular card, I just cut the top corners off to make it into a tag shape which I find is a little more fun but by putting this in here it's kind of too small for me because this pocket is quite large so I think I want to enlarge this tag a little bit by giving it a frame and I wanted to do that using a cardstock that I've also used here, which you haven't seen yet. So this is my November signature with my Mushroom Garden printables. And this is a belly band, which is part of that Making Digitals Your Own series. So I'll link that series be below for you as well in case you want to see how I made this double belly band actually using fabric. And then I took this print, which was from the Mushroom Garden collage sheets, just cut out this section here and added some gray cardstock in the back, which I really like. I haven't really used gray cardstock in the past, but I want to use that more because I really enjoyed that. And it comes from this paper pad, which I found at my local craft store, Gastica, for anyone in the German-speaking world. So it's mixed media, 250 GSM or 150 pounds. Company is Claire Fontaine, which is a French company, I believe. And this is the cardstock. It's really nice and thick. And I like this gray. So let's just cut out a frame for this. Actually, I will glue it on first. That kind of just seems easier. By the way, I am very excited because I am going on a trip in a few days at the point when I'm filming this. And this is a trip that was planned <laughs> about three years ago before COVID happened. And now it's finally happening. And uh, it's happening in a different way than was originally planned, but that's totally fine. So I am flying to the Netherlands for four days and I'm meeting, well originally it was planned to meet three of my crafty friends, but now unfortunately one of the ladies won't be able to make it for personal reasons. So it'll be three of us. And we are invited to Maud's house. So Maud is also on YouTube. 
uh, her channel name is Mod Himstra. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will link Mod's channel for you below. And we have been in contact for many, many years. And Mod does amazing things. So go check out her channel. She has also recently posted a studio tour, which is so much fun. She has such a beautiful studio. And I get to visit that studio together with my friend from France, dear Bea. Hi, sweetie. I'm so excited to see Bea again. I've met Bea twice, once here in Vienna. She came to visit with her hubby. That was two years ago. And then last year I visited her in Paris in December. So pretty much a year ago, we went to Paris Disneyland. Yeah, now we get to meet up again in the ne Netherlands, which is super cool. Um, let me just think about what, what am I doing here. <laughs> so I have this. I like this a lot. But it needs something else. I'm thinking what if I cut out some die cuts with that same card stock. I can just use these scraps. So I'll take these to my die cut machine and just cut out some dies and I'll be back. So I have these, and these are from this set, Tim Holtz and Sizzix, with the number 661808, and it's called Wildflowers number two. So let's take these out. Now I forgot where I was. Anyway, so Maud invited us to see her new studio, which I'm so excited to see in person and we're just going to spend a few days together crafting and i think Maud has planned a beautiful nature walk for us and maybe we can go to a flea market there and see some local things so yeah i'm very excited mostly just to spend time with these ladies and also for a change of scenery Oh, I should have run this through twice, not just once. This reminds me also, I wanted to share a tip with you concerning die cuts. If you've seen my November plan with me, then you will know that I was struggling to make these come out of the page a little bit more because they are very hard to see. And one of you, Smart Cookies, wrote and I can't believe I didn't think of that myself, is to cut the same die cuts that I used here out again in maybe a black or another darker color and then just offset it. And that way they would have a beautiful shadow and they would really stand out. That would have been the perfect solution. So something I will hopefully remember for the future. <laughs> Thank you again so much for that tip. Now, where did my pokey tool go? Here it is. Yeah, yeah, and since we'll have uh, what looks like uh, quite some time for crafting together, I mentioned that I wanted to make a journal cover in the style of this Woven Dreams kit. So I will also use those pages inside, at least partially, but I want to construct a cover that will go with it. I don't have any idea what that will look like. Maud says she has some fabrics that we can use and she has sewing machines there and everything. Lots of craft supplies. So I am super excited. And I think all of us will be doing that, which will be really fun to see how each of us makes that journal cover. So I won't be able to share that on camera, the making of, because I don't want to film in that space. Because first of all, I don't know if the other two will be comfortable. And also kind of, I'm looking for a relaxed time with the girls. I don't really want to have to think about filming. You know what I mean? Like I love having you guys with me, but... For this trip, I really just want to spend time with the girls and have a really relaxed time. But I will be happy to share our adventures. And if we do actually make the journal cover, if I make anything worth showing, I will be happy to share that with you. I could also see myself just talking all the time and not really crafting a lot. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Oh no, I just tore it. I can still use the top half. That's not the fault of the dyes. It's the fault of the paper. Okay, let's have a look at these and see if anything will fit here without covering too much of the original print. 
I'm not sure if I want this at all. Mm. I do like this one here. I'm not sure about adding another one there. Okay, let's try this. Let's cut this one down. And this one. Now the question is, do I leave them as they are? Do I spray them with something? Do I stamp them? Ooh, maybe I want to just stamp them. Yep, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to use this stamp here by Carabelle Studio. It's a French company. And this stamp is called Fragment d'Art Journal numéro 1. <laughs> so Fragment of an Art Journal number one. And uh, maybe the number is easier than the name. SA70187. So let's put these on something else. I'm using my black archival ink. And obviously I just want parts of these. How about the parts with the words? Yeah, that is cute. And that is a lot more visible than when I did it here on the mica stains. So let's glue these on. I'll use my art glitter glue because of the fine tip. Maybe I should not do that on the tag. And by the way, another comment I want to share with you because I think it's very useful. Wait, let me just glue this on. So another helpful comment was when I cut the circle out, maybe you remember originally it had these loops here as well, and this is felt. And I ran this felt through my die cut machine twice. And then when I took it out, you may remember that all of these loops here were cut or torn. And that's why I just cut them off. So I have the circle here. And one viewer commented that with felt, you should always only run it through twice. Be uh, sorry, run it through once because I think it stretches. And so then... It tears or cuts through or whatever so I haven't tried that yet but if you are interested in cutting felt you might want to try that and you also might want to try putting the felt onto some cardstock or just having a piece of cardstock underneath the felt you don't have to glue it together and that might work better as well okay it's subtle but it's there I like it has a little more dimension this way. Do we need a tag topper? What about one of these two? These are from the Taperlogy haul. I will link that video for you below in case I haven't mentioned that. I think both of these go really well. Maybe the blue even more. Yeah, maybe the blue because we have a lot of yellow here in the background and i think the blue will stand out better so i'm not sure what material this is but it feels really nice it's very sheer and i think that would make a really nice tag topper but i'm not sure i actually want to have a bow because the bows are always so bulky maybe we just want to have like a strip so I'll use this ID punch. You can find this on Amazon 
by searching for ID punch. <laughs> I think they're very fun. And I'll just ink that up as well. So how do we do this? Let's just thread that through and then maybe just make a knot. <laughs> so I can write my to-dos on the back here. Mm, I just have an idea. I haven't used my very special dragonfly stamp in a long time. This has been custom made for me in Egypt. It is super special. So it's basically like an Egyptian dragonfly. And of course, if you know a little bit about me, you will know that I have a very strong connection to Egypt since my hobby is Egyptian. And I have been there many, many, many times. And since I still want to be able to write on this, I don't want to stamp it in black. I'm going to stamp it with this Picket Fence Distress Ink. And I think that should show up very well on this gray cardstock. Maybe because of maybe because it's not uh, totally level. I don't know. I did a horrible job stamping, but on the other hand, it's kind of interesting because it looks distressed. So I'm going to clean this. Add a bit of water and just wipe that down. I usually don't bother cleaning my stamps, but when I use a color like that, I think that makes sense. <laughs> No, I'm actually okay with it. I like that it's imperfect. So I'll just dry that quickly with my heat tool. Okay, yeah, that's cute. I like it. I also want to add something here because this seems a little bit plain. And what I see here on my desk are these prints which were fails i want i was trying to print back to back and uh, somehow my printer did something weird so i could still use these flowers maybe i could just cut them out maybe i should first back it with some cardstock i'm sure i have some scraps yeah so i found this so let me cut off this piece. So this is from my backgrounds, from the Woven Dreams backgrounds. And then I'll just glue that onto this piece. And since I'll be cutting out smaller parts, I want to make sure that everything is glued down, not just the outside. And then I'll cut out these flowers and maybe even the bird, not sure yet. So I'm not super excited about flying. 
I, I don't really enjoy flying so much anymore. But from Vienna, it's about a two hour flight, not quite two hours. So I hope everything will go smoothly. And then uh, Maud and Bea will pick me up. Bea is coming with the train from Paris and they will both pick me up at the airport. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I've been waiting for this for three years. It's incredible. I'm just so sorry that our other friend, Sweet Maureen, will not make it this time. But I hope this won't be the last time that we can meet up like this. Sending all my love, sweetie. We will really, really miss you. It's so rare for me that I get the chance to meet up with like-minded ladies. Because just like you probably have difficulties finding someone close to you that is into junk journaling. I don't have anyone here in Vienna to share this passion with. Which is why it's also very precious for me to talk to you on videos like these. Because I don't have anyone in my, let's say, my real life <laughs> to chat to. So these trips, or when I get to take a course, not an online course, but like an actual course that I can attend with other participants. It's really, really special and it's very motivating. And, and I love seeing what everyone else is doing. And I'm always amazed at the ideas that everyone has. It's just great. So I feel really, really fortunate that I get to take a trip like this. Okay, I'll go around the edges with my walnut stain. Yeah, so I totally don't take these kind of trips for granted and I don't do them often. I don't actually have time uh, for me to take a trip like this for, for just four days involves a lot of preparation and a lot of working ahead and also knowing that I have a lot to do when I come back because the way I work, basically I work every day. I, either I'm filming or editing or making digitals or working on my newsletter or working on other admin stuff, doing my bookkeeping, etc, etc. To just miss four days is not easy for me, but it's so worth it. So am I using all three? What am I actually doing here? <laughs> Maybe I should concentrate on this for a moment. Hmm, or just two, maybe just two, I can put this somewhere else on another page, but it definitely will need some gold in some form. This one as well, actually, I think both of these will need gold splatters. And I think this also needs thread underneath. And instead of the usual black, I'm going to use this beautiful petrol. Oh, and I could just add gold thread, why not? Yeah, let me get some gold thread. So this one is also from Egypt and therefore very special to me. And we are so close to Defemerember. I am so, so, so excited. I hope you are pretty much ready to go. I think it'll still need splatters, but maybe not gold splatters or maybe gold splatters, but not only gold splatters. <laughs> so let's glue these onto each other. I'm so happy for Defem Remember. This year we have Effie to help us. I feel a lot more calm knowing that he's going to be there to help out both with advice and maybe also with tools that i wouldn't have thought on my own i think he's going to be a great addition to defember ember this year <laughs> and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, when i talk about defember ember if you're fairly new to my channel it is a december series that i host together with my dear friend louisa heinzel 
and we have prompts for you to follow and we just make fun ephemera. So I'll link that below as well. Okay, I, I definitely need some splatters. So I'll start off with gold. I'll use my eye zinc dye spray by Seth Apter called Goldmine. And I'll just do them both on, on both here. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to say about Defemember. I don't know yet how we're going to do this, but we have a huge problem with Instagram because we have a hashtag on Instagram, hashtag Defemember, under which both Louisa and I and all of you were posting the past two years and we could all see each other's creations and comment and like, and it was really cool. And that hashtag still exists. You can still post under it and everything, but the huge problem that we have now and i don't know why they did this so instagram continues to change things obviously and one of the things they changed is when you look at a group or when you look at a hashtag now you used to be able to sort to have the newest posts show up on top and now that function is no longer there which means that, you know, that currently there's already thousands of posts under that hashtag. So if you post anything new, it will be super hard to find that post. And I am so pissed about this change because it means that we won't be able to see your post because there's no way that Louise and I can scroll through this every day for thousands and thousands of posts to find your newest posts. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know if we're going to have a solution for this, but this is something Louisa and I are still going to discuss whether we can come up with anything else. But at the moment, neither of us see a different solution and it really, really frustrates us. Okay, I just mixed some black acrylic paint with water in here. So I want to add some black splatters, not too many. Hopefully I won't go overboard. Ooh, that was almost too much. Okay, stop. <laughs> so I dried this quickly. I really like how this came out. These have become even more subtle, but that's okay. I do love this backside. This is fun as well. So that's ready to go for my to-dos. And I want to make another tag. Maybe I'll use it here, I don't know. But I have this here left over from one of the Woven Dreams collage sheets. And I obviously don't want to waste this. This is a leftover from this wonky, huge card that I made, which is very wrinkly. <laughs> yeah, this was cut off like this. And I think this would make a really fun separate tag. So let's cut this one down first and then I'm obviously going to have to back that because that's just printed on regular copy paper. And I think I'll use the same grey cardstock because I'm really enjoying that and I think that works really well with these colors. Yep, I love that. So what shape do we make this? Do we make it into a tag shape again? Or do we just leave it as it is and round off the corners? No, let's do a tag shape. I just love tag shapes for some reason. So I have this template here so that I have even corners. So I have small corners on one end and larger corners on the other. And this is obviously just packaging. And it's so funny, I've been wanting to do this for years, literally years. And now I finally have done it. I mean, it's something that takes like a minute. I don't know why it took me so long to finally make one of these. They are so practical. So we need to first ink up the edges, of course. Okay. 
then let's glue that on. So can you guys believe that we're moving into de December? I was going to say December, that too, but also just December. Isn't that crazy? I find that very hard to wrap my head around. It's like, where has the whole year gone? I don't know. It's so bizarre. I don't know. I know I've said this before, but I don't know how I ever lived without a small guillotine always on my craft desk. So let's cut these corners as well. Let's ink those up and then let's see what else to do with this and where to put it. So I quickly stitched around this twice with a small running stitch and that same beautiful petrol thread. And I want to add a golden eyelet on top. Punch a hole. Best not to go right through my stitching. Okay, now I want to go and find some thread to put through there. I think this one from Tapology would be really cute here. By the way, if you're interested in checking out the Tapology website, please go to my Tapology haul because in the description box of that video, you can find a discount code for minus 15%. Oh, that's a lot of thread to get through there. Let's try it with some tweezers. They are so cute and I'll just tie a knot. These will be sticking out from the top of my journal, I hope. Or maybe not because they're hanging down actually. <laughs> so cute though. And I think I also want to add a sentiment here. So I found one here from Studio Light. So this is quotes and letters. And I'm going to take this black one, which simply says, be here now. Let's stick that right down here in the center. Now, where do we put this? I could put it there as my to-do list. Let's do that. This is getting so super bulky. And I still have a whole month to go. Wow. So let's find a pocket or something to stick that in. I have these kind of pockets. Or I have these kind. Oh, there's another one of these. Mm, I don't want another one of this one here. I think I want one of these. And I think I want one with the turquoise. Oh, that's going to fit very nicely. So do we center this? Do we offset it to the side? What do we do? I think I'm going to center this. Very unusual for me. I'm going to keep the flaps on. Sometimes I take it off 
but I think for this pocket will be okay because sometimes when you leave the flaps on, it becomes too loose, especially for the tuck spots. If you don't have something bulky to stick into that tuck spot but with a pocket like this, I think it will work out just fine. And by the way, if you are wondering about this dangle here on my Art Glitter Glue bottle, there's a video on Tracy Fox's channel, I believe it is. If you search on YouTube for Tracy Fox glue bottle dangle, you will find how to make these kind of dangles. I made this using her tutorial. It's been a while. <laughs> And, and, and if you're wondering why is this necessary, it's just because if you just have the pin that comes with this metal tip, so this metal tip is separate from the glue bottle, it just comes with this tip and then you can buy this separate or sometimes you can get them in a package. The issue is that you always lose that pin on your craft desk, but if you have a dangle on it like this, you're not so likely to you, to lose it. And I totally agree it's because I've lost the pin so many times that this dangle is really not only fun and cute, but very practical to have. This is too plain for me. I want to see if I have anything here in my little basket with my mostly die cuts, I guess, both negatives and positives. Hmm, we have this leaf. This one is from Taperology. What if we cut this? That could be interesting. We'll leave that out. Oh, we of course also still have this flower. Hmm, not enough contrast. I think I want something maybe in white. Oh, we also have November here. I'll keep that in mind as well. Ah, here we go. We have some florals here. These might be really good. There's another one. It's kind of nice to have some of these pre-cut. And these are again from Taperlogy. There's also some really cute plants here. Let me check those as well. They are a bit flimsy though. I know now not to dye these because they are too flimsy for that. They tear instantly. But anyway, I want something white. So let's check some options here. Half of this could be cute, me. Not convinced yet. That's quite cute. Let's keep that one in mind. Nope, the style does not work for me. Oh, this is missing a petal. Doesn't really matter. That's kind of cute. Keep that in mind. And there's this one. No. Mm. Oh, I just broke it. Okay. No. Okay, let's try these as well. These are my own. These are from Tim Holtz. Nope. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Okay, so it's either this one or this November. I also really like this one. You know what? I'm going to go with this one because otherwise it's going to take me a whole nother year until I can use this. But I also really like how it looks. And I'll show you where this is from. So this is a negative of these letters here, which come from this 
die set Sizzix and Tim Holtz with the number 661178 and it's called Calendar Words Block. And these are the same letters that you can find in this alphabet set. It's just very convenient because all the letters are already together. And this one has the number 665924 and it's called Alphanumeric Theory. So I'm just going to glue this on as it is. <gasps> My cap is coming off. Oh, no, 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 no. Apparently it wasn't on tight enough and now all the glue is squishing out in between. That's not good. Let's try this again. Okay, better now. Cool, I like it. I need some more contrast here, so I will add some black splatters. Actually, I'll leave this in here because I don't want to get any on the sentiment. Woo, that's a lot. Okay, stop, stop, stop. And let's do the gold as well. Okay, I quickly dried this, so this is ready to go. And what if we added this flower somewhere, maybe here? And then we add some gold thread. Gold thread very much behaves like a diva. <laughs> and some of that petrol thread. You can't really see how cute it is in the camera. I will give you a close up in a moment. <laughs> So very happy with these two pages. I also want to include this little coin envelope, which is also on one of the ephemera pages. So I've already inked up all of the edges, but I also need to do something with this white here. Why don't I cut a piece of this here to fit inside here? So let's just draw the shape here. So I'll cut a little bit inside of those lines because otherwise it will be too big. it up oh 
Okay, cute. Do we want to decorate this further? Maybe we can add this one here. Ooh, that is pretty because there's such a large contrast here. Let's do that. Let's cut it off right here. And let's have some fun putting the glue on. <laughs> Does anyone enjoy this part ever? I know it's possible to just print these on, well, either you could print them on sticker paper, that would make it really easy, or you could put double-sided tape on the back and then run that through your machine. But as you can see, I don't do either of those things. <laughs> And this die cut comes from this set. Again, Thinlets and, uh, <laughs> Thinlets, Sizzix and Tim Holtz with the number 664164. And this is called Wildflower Stems 2. Oh, is this the one I showed you before? I'm confused. Anyway, this is this flower from here. And I want to add a sentiment to this as well. So using the same Studio Light pad, uh, I'm going to use focus on the good, mostly because it's short. Sometimes you have to choose sentiments according to their size <laughs> because they're all good. So. Okay, and how about we put this in this belly band? I don't know yet what I'm going to put inside. Maybe something from my trip. Let's put it in like this. Then we can see the sentiment as well. Okay, I think I'm good for today. I hope you feel inspired to work in your own journal, planner, or whatever it is that you're currently working on. I had loads of fun. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.